25 movers and shakers in the African energy sector to look out for in 2020 have been identified. And in studio, NJIU joins me to talk about these individuals' relevance to the energy sector. In these 25 people that we as a chamber have really looked at and say, how are their actions, their jobs, and their decisions going to affect everyday Africans, whether it's the African entrepreneur, whether it's the African investor, or, you know, mom and dad and the price at the pump. And I think that is key. So you're looking at Africa where you're seeing gas, you're seeing petroleum, but you're also seeing regulations. And so we put out, it's a big list. It's a big list. There are many people who are not there. We have 25. I am number 26 with many other Africans. So that is what we will do. And that's, what we've, we've, that's where we've come with this uh, top 25. Now let's talk significance. Why was it important to actually come up with this list? Because it's really important for everyday Africans to know who drives this industry, who shapes this industry, and what is my future in 2025. What are the policies, the politics, the investment, the finances, and everything that's going to go um, in 2020. It's no longer the time where we sit in and say the oil industry is some opaque, vague industry where nobody understands it and we don't know the people that call the shots. That's why we need this. That's why we need to identify the business leaders, the policy makers, the, the drum majors, so that we can all hold them accountable and we can also encourage them when they are, when they are doing the, the right thing so that all of us can make this industry work. Who are some of those individuals who've been identified as movers and shakers? Big on our list, surprisingly, President Trump. He, he was right out there in the top three. Everybody looked at And people say, well, why do you have President Trump? You know, whatever happens in America shapes the world. But again, he has set out $60 billion on Prosper Africa. They're going to do a lot of investment in equity, in African projects, and also Africa is looking at how the U.S. policies would really work with regards to Power Africa that was set up by his predecessor, and that is really going to be something that we look at. Mohamed Sanusi Bakindo of OPEC. I'm worried about the price of the pump. And I think you are also, and many other Africans are worried about, is the oil market going to be stable? Are we going to move from this, what are the price to go up or go down, and how you shape it? But then you tend to look at, on the other side, from, from, from on the regulatory side, you're looking at a Gabriel Lima in Equatorial Guinea. He's had a tough stance on drill or drop with operators and investors and trying to show up exploration. How is he going to be able to do that? How is that going to work in this environment? But then you also flip on the other side, you look at an African president, Macky Sall, who has um, put a great deal together with BP, Cosmos, FAR. They're going to start drill, they're going to start producing oil, they're going to develop gas, and, you, and the quick question is that, can this regulator, can this leader actually make sure that they stay on the right path? that it is done with transparency, it is done with the best principles, but not also get his country stuck in the issue of the, the, resource, the resource curse. But then pay attention to the private sector. You have, we, we were very surprised with a huge breed of Africans, whether it is uh, um, Kevin Okere in, in Ghana, he has just discovered something that's gonna be so massive so massive you wouldn't believe it with new new discoveries there but then looking at nigeria you're looking at tope shinobi you're looking at prince eze you're looking at other nigerians who have been able to own oil fields kola karim producing you know this guy produces more than many african countries but you see now the spirit of African entrepreneurship, how Africans are shaping that. But also there's a warning where you see other leaders whom we've seen failed projects. We've seen things that, that have not really moved well. Look at Uganda, where Total could not get this um, um, project going. Mozambique, the, ga um, the gas there has done very well in Mozambique. $50 billion of U.S. investment, and it's going to do well. But Tanzania, they need to start it up. So all of these figures are really going to shape how this industry works, but what is most importantly, the biggest movers and shakers are we, the people. We, the people, have to really drive them for a better Africa.